Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include the EU Parliament flexes its muscles, Thatcher adds voice to EU out debate from beyond the grave, new fears over illegal migrants, thousands will head to Britain within months, in your letters keep up the good work, plus 2011 Discharge European Food Safety Agency. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the European Parliament, an idiosyncratic chamber that has often been dismissed as a multilingual talking shop, is rapidly assuming greater influence that is giving it a growing role in the region and beyond. The Parliament recently secured restrictions on bankers' bonuses across Europe that could prompt a push for similar moves elsewhere, and it also killed a digital anti-piracy treaty last year that was strongly backed by American companies. Margaret Thatcher has managed to excite her followers from beyond the grave with the disclosure by her biographer Charles Moore that she was a secret believer in a Brexit, Britain's exit from the EU. The fact emerged when Moore was appearing at a spectator event with Andrew Neil to publicise volume one of his Lady T biography. The room was packed with Thatcher adherents eager to hear the author's account of the real Maggie. In the wake of Lord Lawson saying he was a Brexit believer and would support Britain's exit if given the chance in a referendum in 2017, Neil, ever the hard newsman, asked more whether the great lady too had been a Brexit advocate. Fears of a new wave of illegal immigrants were raised yesterday after Romania declared it was on the brink of joining an EU scheme to allow free movement of people. The move raises the spectra of thousands of migrants from Africa or the Far East getting into the Eastern European country across its poorly guarded borders with the aim of heading to the UK. Concerns were raised after the Romanian president said yesterday he was hopeful his country would be allowed to join the EU's passport-free Schengen zone within months. In your letters today, we have a letter from Mrs. Diane Meggie, and I'm delighted with what she wrote. And I quote, I just love your articles, although they are completely terrifying. Your humour is brilliant. Keep it up. Your articles are so informative and revealing. What a complete waste of money this EU is. Oh, why do we stay attached to it when it is so destructive to our democratic country? I want out today. Best wishes, Mrs. Diane and Meggie. Well, thank you, Diana. It is so nice to get feedback like this. The Court of Auditors stated that it has obtained reasonable assurances that the annual accounts for the European Food Safety Authority for the financial year 2011 are reliable and that the underlying transactions are legal and regular. Therefore, the committee approved the closure of the EFSA's accounts. Nonetheless, the report makes several observations, none of which appear to be related to horse meat. Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced. And so through the month of May, I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel, rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I'd prefer like, please, and most importantly, sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So without further ado, today's video, which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist, is Upside Down by Thomas Roman. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. 
You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>